Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome Praveen ji. Just joined. Oh, more people joining in. Awesome. So just about to start up. Start with our session now. So wherever we are, however we are sitting or standing or walking, we try and sort of come into this or a state of body and mind which is relaxed and yet vigilant. And if we are sitting on the floor on the cushion, then we can can be sitting either cross-legged in half lotus or full lotus posture. If we are sitting on the chair, then we make sure our feet are placed on the floor. We have an open body posture, open chest posture, which is not just vigilant, but also welcoming open. Our back straight and get relaxed. The muscles around the back relaxed. You don't have to be too tight. And we also don't have to be hunched. It's like finding our own balance. It's like tuning the guitar string. Our eyes can be either partially open if we feel sleepy or dull, or they can be closed if we are scattered, our mind is all over the place. Our tongue can be resting on the upper palate behind the teeth. And this avoids excessive secretion of saliva during the meditation. Neck slightly tilted towards the floor. Shoulders relaxed. Our hands can be resting on the knees, facing the ceiling. Or they can be resting on the lap with our right hand placed in our left hand and thumbs softly touching each other. And we can start to notice how we feel today. How is the body feeling? Is it too tight or relaxed, light or heavy. And if you notice any sensations in the body, you can start to notice them as well. Starting to notice the weight of our back body pressing down on the floor or the chair.
noticing any sounds around us. Not judging the sound, not trying to find the source of the sound. It's noticing it, just observing the sounds. Noticing any sense of smell. Or lingering taste we may have on our tongue. Noticing any tactile sensation against our skin. Can we, the breeze, if we are outside, or the circulating air of the ceiling fan, or can we the cloth touching our skin? Just have to notice the sensations. Let's spend some time with our body. Let's try and relax our body, different parts of the body. While maintaining this spacious awareness. Remember not to get too tight or tense. Just soft focus, soft, spacious awareness. And as we are relaxing our body, we can also prepare our mind for this meditation. So if we have any thoughts of past or future, any expectations, tension, agitation in our mind, we can try and let them go. We can try and release them in the space. And bring our mind in the present moment. We can take three deep breaths to complete this preparation of body and mind. With every out breath, we release more and more tension and we relax like body and mind.
when we are done, we can set the motivation for this practice before going to the actual practice. And in the Mahayana tradition, we often talk about this highest altruistic motivation to benefit all sentient beings. So that can be our motivation. That can be the reason why we are doing this practice. But if for some of us that doesn't make sense, then we can set our own motivation as well. And we can think about what brings us here today. Why are we taking out 30 minutes of our day to do this practice? What are we trying to achieve? And we also know that people around us are suffering in some way or the other. So if we can bring them in our motivation, if we can make this motivation a little altruistic, if we can reflect upon how our positive state of mind or this practice of ours is going to benefit them, Once done, we can come to our actual practice, the silent practice. We can use our own object for this meditation. If we don't have an object, if we are just beginning, then we can just use our breath. This is a very, very good object to meditate on. We can see where can we Feel our breath the best. Is it at the tummy, the rise and fall of tummy as you breathe in and out? Or is it the rhythm of the breath? For some, it can also be the sensation of breath at the entrance of our nostrils. So whatever object we choose, we stick to it throughout the meditation. We don't have to breathe in any special way, just normal breathing. No deep breaths, no shallow breaths, no manipulation of breath. Just normal breathing and observing the breath, that's all. And we maintain that spacious, relaxed awareness. We're not trying to cut off anything. We let the thoughts be. We just stay with our breath, just continuing to notice our breaths. And if we get distracted, we gently release the distraction and come back. So let's meditate this way for the next 10 minutes.
we continue to keep that spacious awareness of our breath or object. And we stay with our object just a few more minutes.
if you notice here two tight or tense just release that in the space and become more spacious softer spacious aware And just now just freeing our mind, letting the mind do whatever it wants to do. If it wants to think, let it think. If it wants to meditate, let it meditate. Just total freedom, no control. And now back to the body, starting to notice the weight of our body, pressing down on the floor or the chair. Starting to notice any sounds around us, any sense of smell or taste we may have. Any tactile sensation against our skin. And becoming more aware of the space around us, of our surroundings. And coming back into the surroundings. And when we feel ready, we can gently and slowly taking our own time come out of our meditation. We can also open our eyes if they were closed. Before we just stand up and go about our day-to-day -day lives, let's just take a moment of appreciating this sense of awareness that we have right now. This meditative equipoise. And see if we can carry this in our normal life, the life between the sessions. But before that, let's end this practice with a dedication. So we can we can dedicate for the people around us, people who are suffering. People who may have passed away recently, we can dedicate for their precious, precious human rebirth. We can also dedicate for all the wars to come to an end and for the world peace across the globe. And also for the environmental degradation to stop. For all of us to live in the planetary boundaries and stop 
degrading environment. You can also dedicate for the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And for finding the quick, very finding very quickly the reincarnation of our teacher Lama Zopar Poche. I would like to use some of the phrases from, from the book written by great Indian master Bodhisattva Shantideva in his book called Bad. The book name is uh, Bodhicharya Avtar. May all beings everywhere, plagued by sufferings of body and mind, obtain an ocean of happiness and joy by virtues of my merits. May no living creature suffer, commit evil, or ever fall ill. May no one be afraid or belittled with the mind weighed down by depression. May the blind see forms and the deaf hear sounds. May those whose bodies are worn with toil be restored on finding depots. May the naked find clothing, the hungry find food. May the thirsty find water and delicious drinks. May there be timely rains and bountiful harvests. May all the medicines be effective and wholesome prayers bear fruit. May all those who are sick and ill quickly be freed from the ailments. Whatever diseases there are in the world, may they never occur again. May the frightened cease to be afraid and those who be freed. May the powerless find power and people think of benefiting each other. For as long as space remains, for as long as ancient beings remain, until then may I too remain to dispel the mysteries of the world. Okay, thank you everyone for joining in and I wish you a very good day, night, evening, wherever you are. And I'll hopefully see some of you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Take care.